What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another highly combustible reaction. We're jumping into something awesome. You already know we love some logistics. That's my background is in logistics. And I'm, I just love the moving around of things and how things really come to fruition, how many people it takes, the whole teams that are behind everything. Everything has to be executed perfectly. We've seen it in some other videos where they've just gone out and done amazing things that people didn't even realize were possible until you get a whole bunch of amazing people together. I'm assuming this is going to be no different. The second Suez Canal, building of the second Suez Canal, I'm assuming, from Van Ort. Definitely get over and show all of the love in the world. We already subbed up. We already smashed the like button. It says in less than a year's time, a second canal was constructed alongside the old canal. Records were broken, vessels were mobilized from every corner of the globe, and work was carried out non-stop. I believe that. Let's jump in. I'm ready for it. Definitely shout out to Martine for this. It's the kind of thing that I love to watch. I like to watch moving parts. It's like a well-oiled machine, and it has to be. So let's go. Egypt, the Suez Canal, one of the most epic structures created by mankind. More than 17,000 ships use this channel every year. But there was a problem. Only one-way traffic was possible over a 35-kilometer stretch. Every vessel had to wait up to 11 hours to let ships from the opposite direction pass. Holy and that's hell. why the famous Suez Canal got a 21st century makeover. A new parallel waterway created to make two-way traffic possible. Initially, it was estimated that it would take three years to get the job done. And they did it in a year's time? Yes. But the Egyptian yeah, president set the bar higher and wanted to open the new Suez Canal within a year. An operation of historical proportions. For this job, there was hardly any preparation at all. Before we knew it, the project was awarded to the consortium itself. From that moment onwards, there was only one goal, and that is the bigger challenge, to make it ready in 10 months' time. From all over the world, equipment has been mobilized to this location, from Europe, from the Far East, even from South America. A 35-kilometer long canal, 24 meters deep and 400 meters wide, straight through the desert. A killer schedule. Uh, here we see a channel of 35 kilometers divided in four lots. We have lot 2, 3, 4 and 5, of which lot number 4 is the Van Oort lot. Yeah, the intentions of this lot is to have the whole area first prepared with cutter dredges, that we remove the top layer of the lot so that the hopper dredges can enter and go to the full depth. What you see here, it was all the same, only sand. Now the challenge for me is, the deadline is very short, so delay is not an option. In the beginning, we were in doubt actually, if it will be going that smooth and we will make this much progress. But now it's going smooth. And I don't think there will be any other project which, is, which will be coming quite soon, like this scale and in shorter time. So I feel really proud, yeah. There's so many pieces to think about. There's so many things that instantly come to my mind. How many employees did they have? That's what I want to know. How many people on the grand total were behind it? Because then you got to think about everything. You got to think about safety incidents. Safety is first because whether your employees are getting hurt, deadlines aren't getting met. Oh, there's so much that goes on to it. That's why I love logistics. It's like a puzzle. How can we make it happen even though everybody's telling us that it's impossible? How do we make the impossible possible using all of these people and all of this equipment that we've sourced? There's so, so much that goes into 
these massive logistics things that sometimes we don't ever even hear about. So I'm super happy that we get to watch a video about it, like legitimately something that piques my interest. It gets me excited again. Like, I'm here for my daily visit to the dredger. We discuss the progress, the time frame, and the planning. A highlight here for me in Suez is to see a, a project on this large scale, to see a project finish in 10 months, the, the starting from zero up to uh, the, the a new Suez Canal. Global logistics, man. In total, 200 million cubic meters of sand were moved, the equivalent of about 80 times the Great Pyramid of Giza. We have uh, productions of uh, 60 to 65,000 cubic meters a day, uh, what means that we do almost 400,000 cubic meters a week and that's for a hopper dredger a lot of uh, sand to move from one place to the other. That's a hell of a lot of sand. The project office in Ismailia, the beating heart of the operation. Here, Van Ord's marine professionals monitored and controlled the logistics and equipment. In total, 28 units were part of this operation, the largest number of dredges ever deployed on a single project. The marine ingenuity is to have this project completed in a small period of time, with a lot of people involved. We have almost 1,800 people on site now in total, and the 20... Hey, that's a three dredges all together in one spot. That is the, the biggest challenge for us. Yeah, it's very busy, especially when the crew change uh, for the on-signer and off-signers. And we have to deal with many people, <laughs> like the driver, the agents, uh, the superintendent to tell them who's coming, who's leaving and what time. So it's very busy. To make sure everything went as smoothly as possible and to prevent delays, immediate action was taken to resolve any emerging situations. The work continued around the clock. The Suez Canal makeover is without a doubt one of the most mind-blowing dredging projects of this decade. The immense landmark is now ready for the vessels to pass through. In its list of epic man-made structures, Egypt can add the second Suez Canal. A 21st century icon was realized, thanks to Van Ord's marine ingenuity. I don't want it to be over yet. I want to see like the whole shebang behind it because it goes just so people don't really look at the details. A lot of people don't ever even know that something like this is happening. Sure, you might hear something on the news. Oh, they're building a new Suez Canal. Cool. But you don't get to actually look at the operation. You don't get to see a video like this and feel like you're part of the team. Like, oh my God, you get to see all of the down to the Nats ass detail, how things work. I absolutely enjoyed it. Definitely get over to Van Ort, all the love in the world. Insane. Shout out to everybody that was a part of it. You guys had every reason to feel proud about that because Lord knows there's a lot. A lot that had to take place at certain moments and every employee was essential. It's just mind boggling. It really is. It makes me feel like my brain just got a little bit bigger. Till the next one of my combustible. You guys be happy, healthy, safe, but I'll be to the moon to bag peace.